Okay, so Jeff has a question today that I'm gonna be answering with respect to low back pain and sitting. So that's what I'm gonna answer in today's video of Ask Yuri. Ask Yuri, you've got a health and fitness question? I've got an answer. All right, so that was a fun introduction, wasn't it? Uh, I'm not too sure where that was going, but anyways, let's get to the question. So Jeff wants to know, um, his job sometimes requires him to sit in a low quality chair for sometimes up to 10 hours. Now, first of all, unless you're in the electric chair, nothing is requiring you to sit down for 10 hours, okay? So Jeff, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call your BS here, and I'm just kinda gonna give it to you straight up. Uh, so obviously his lower back hurts a ton, he's 38, any way to prevent this? Well, first of all, um, as I just said, nothing requires you to sit down unless, uh, even if you're a taxi cab driver, you don't have to sit down for 10 hours straight. You can stop the car, you can get out of your chair, you can walk around. So the first thing you wanna do is remember, there's a phenomenon known as creep. And creep basically means that if you apply a pressure to a physical structure, over time it will deform, okay? Uh, think about putting a spoon on the edge of a table and then hanging a weight on top of that spoon. Okay, eventually the spoon is gonna deform with gravity. The same thing happens with your body. If you're constantly sitting and you're in this rounded position forward, eventually your structures, your muscles, your connective tissue will shorten, others will lengthen, and your body will become that. Make sense? So, what do we do to prevent that? Well, we have to counteract that movement. I've mentioned this in a previous video, where if you're rounded forward all the time, flexion, you need to spend more time in extension. So doing things like yoga is awesome because doing things like downward dog and upward dog, that takes you through a flow where you're going through extension, taking your spine away out of flexion, into extension, opening up the chest, opening up the torso, and alleviating a lot of that tension. So that's the first thing you need to do is really extend your spine. Open up, put the hands on the lower part of your back and just reach back, breathe, open up your chest, open up those muscles, okay? Second is you don't have to be sitting 10 hours a day. Get up every 30 minutes or so and walk around, have a little stretch, have a little you know, movement around, just kind of open up your torso, open up your hips, and then go back to sitting and do your work. Okay, you're gonna feel more refreshed, your blood is gonna be flowing, that's the way to do it, okay? Even if I'm standing here for hours, if I were to stand here, um, eventually my body will get tired. It will, it will kind of fall into these uh, you know, postural patterns. So I need to move around and kind of limber up. Otherwise, things are gonna get stiff and sore. So it's, it doesn't matter if you're sitting or lying down or standing, you need to move around and not be so static. Um, what else? Uh, another thing you can consider is if you're at work is actually sitting on a stability ball. If you can get, if you, again, but they're like 50 bucks, you can bring it into the office, blow it up and just keep it at your desk. And it's one of those big exercise balls. Just by sitting on it, it forces you to sit up in good posture because you're not gonna be able to lean back into anything. And it also activates your core muscles, which by, just by sitting on the ball is gonna be beneficial to support your spine and develop some of those deeper muscles that are important for a uh, good posture. Uh, what else can I help you with in this regard? Um, yeah, once, as I've mentioned before, my, my good friend Rick Kassel has a great program called Fix My Back Pain. Uh, he is, when I have injuries, when I have any kind of nagging issues or when my clients have issues, he is my go-to guy. He is what I'd recommend. Uh, and that, there's a link below this video which can give you uh, all of his awesome uh, wisdom and guidance for the low back stuff. So if you've got low back pain and you need to ease that low back pain, again, the link below this video will show you exactly how to do that. It's a tremendous program. It's very, it, it's, what's awesome is that it's so contrarian to what you've been led to believe uh, is the right way to do things. So if you've been led to believe that you need to stretch your hamstrings, well, there's really uh, poor ways of stretching your hamstrings that are actually causing more back pain than alleviating. Uh, the way you do certain exercises could be causing more issues than they're solving. So anyways, in the program Fix My Back Pain, uh, Rick will show you how to do things properly. So that's the specialty, that's what he does, and uh, it comes with my highest recommendation. I highly recommend you check it out. So Jeff, hopefully that helps you out. So a couple tips there. Uh, the last thing I wanna mention is put some kind of lumbar support on your lower back. So it could be a towel, that's folded up, it could be a jacket, it could be a cushion. Get that natural curve back in your lower back, especially if you're sitting on a chair, because otherwise, 
Again, it's, it's, it's a ticking time bomb. Sitting is a ticking time bomb and it hits everybody at some point, okay? So do those couple things, check with the Fix My Back Pain program and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. If you have a question in the meantime, join me over at Facebook, ask your question on the wall. I'll be sure to answer it in an upcoming video. I'll do my very best at least. And uh, that's all for today. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.